have you back in the Dreambox neighborhood. Have fun on your learning adventures. Welcome. Have fun exploring. Help Professor Pickles and the gang free a Triceratops in a sticky situation. Would you like to play this story? We're going to have a marvelous adventure. Hey, we're just following these Triceratops tracks. Dr. Kim wants to take some pictures of it. The tracks look like they go right over that hill. Oh no, that poor Triceratops is stuck in the tar pit. We have to do something. Can you help us free this dinosaur? Don't worry, Mr. Triceratops. We'll get you out. We'll need to build a crane to pull this poor dinosaur out. We'll have to find these objects: some logs, strong vines, heavy stones, some huge dinosaur rib bones, an old dinosaur eggshell, and my toolkit. Let's find these things before that Triceratops sinks any further. Pick an area to search for the supplies we'll need to free the Triceratops. Let's look for some logs. Add the missing tile. Let's play. Here we go again. Choose the number that belongs in the highlighted square. Nice work putting numbers on the hundreds chart. Great job! Click the games along the path to play them. Match 100. Let's play. This one is quite interesting. Click two numbers that make 100. Job playing matching make. Click the game, add the missing tile. Let's play. Let's try another one. Choose the number that belongs in the highlighted square. Nice work putting numbers on the hundreds chart. Excellent work, kiddo. Cool, we found some logs. Pick another area to continue playing this story.
super job! You found an adventure friend! You can play with your adventure friend in my house anytime! Keep playing to uncover the clue you're looking for! Equal pieces. Let's play. Partition the circle into four equal pieces. Good job! How much does one part of this shape represent? Label one part. Good job! Partition the rectangle into four equal pieces. Good job! How much does one part of this shape represent? Label one part. Good job! Select every card that has been cut into equal fourths. Good job! Select every card that has been cut into equal fourths. Good job! Let's look for vines! Frog race. Let's play. There are more flags to set up on the race course. Let's move the rest of the negative land flags into position. Great job! Excellente! That's right! That's right! Super excellent! Splish splash! Super! Super excellent! Super! Great job! Now we're ready to race! Super! You found a token! Match 50. Let's play. Try this one. <coughs> Click two numbers that make 50. Job playing matching make. Good work. We got some vines. Pick another area to continue playing this story.
or click back if you want to explore a story with the pet friends, pirates, or pirates. Let's look for an egg. Equal pieces. Let's play. Partition the rectangle into four equal pieces. Good job. Click next to move on. Click next to move on. How much does each part of this shape represent? Label every part. Good job! Partition the rectangle into two equal pieces. Good job! How much does each part of this shape represent? Label every part. Good job! Partition the rectangle into four equal pieces. You will need to draw lines on this shape to partition it into equal pieces that can be shared fairly between four of your friends. Select the strategy button to hear the directions again. Click hint if you need a hint. Click Reset if you want to undo your lines. Click Done when you are finished. Your turn. Good job! Click Next to move on. How much does each part of this shape represent? Label every part. Good job! Partition the rectangle into two equal pieces. Good job! How much does each part of this shape represent? Label every part. Good job! Select every card that has been cut into equal fourths. Good job! Click Next to move on. Select every card that has been cut into equal halves. Good job! Select every card that has been cut into equal halves. Good job! Select every card that has been cut into equal fourths.
Good job! How to function machine. Let's play. The function machine is mathematical fun. Let's check it out. We have three goals. The machine takes a number, uses a rule to change that number, then gives an output number as the answer. We'll record what the machine does in this table. The rule makes the machine add 5. The input is 2 making the output 7. Let's watch the function machine again. The input is 3, and the rule is add 5. Making 8 the output. I'm guessing you figured out the next answer. The input is 4, and the rule is add 5. Use the keyboard to type the output. It all adds up. You finished a table. Now let's try another problem with a different rule. The input is 10. The rule is subtract 2. Making 8 the output. Here's another one. The input is 8. The rule is subtract 2. Making the output 6. Now you do one. The input is 6. The rule is subtract 2. Use the keyboard to type the output. You finished another table. You and the function machine make a math-tastic, number-crunching pair. So I hope you can help me. Now I have a table. But I need to find the function machine rule. These are the inputs. And these are the outputs. I think the rule is add 3. That's it. That's the rule. Let's figure out this next table together. If the input is 15, the output is 11. If the input is 14, the output is 10. If the input is 13, the output is 9. This means the rule is subtract 4. Yeah! That's the rule! Now you try to find the rule. If the input is 20, the output is 17. If the input is 19, the output is 16. If the input is 18, the output is 15. What is the rule? Click plus or minus. Then click the answer box and type your answer. Super! You found the rule! If I'm an input and you're a rule, together we're super cool! You found a token! Add the missing tile. Let's play. How about a new challenge? Let's go. Move the tiles to the hundreds chart.
Place a tie. Nice work putting numbers on the hundreds chart. Well, well, look here. We have a master on our hands. Look, an eggshell. The professor wanted that. Pick another area to continue playing this story. Or click back if you want to explore a story with the pet friends, pirates, or pixies. Let's look for function machine. Let's play. All right. Are you ready for a new challenge? Let's do it. Use your keyboard to type the output. Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Awesome! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Oops! Try again. The rule is plus 10. Way to go! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type. <laughs> Woohoo! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Way to go! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Good job! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Awesome! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Eureka! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Good job! Excellent work using the function machine. Great job! You found a token! Equal pieces. Let's play. Partition the rectangle into three equal pieces. Good job! How much does each part of this shape represent? Label every part. Good job! Partition the rectangle into three 
equal paces. Good job! How much does each part of this shape represent? Label every part. Good job! Select every card that has been cut into equal thirds. Good job! Select every card that has been cut into equal thirds. Good job! Function machine. Let's play. Try this one. Use your keyboard to type the output. Right on. Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Eureka! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Eureka! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Eureka! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Awesome! Here's another chart. Use your keyboard to type the output. Way to go! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Good job! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Type the output. Eureka! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. <laughs> Woohoo! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Excellent work using the function machine. Good job, you did it! We found some heavy stones! Pick another area to continue playing this story. Let's look for my toolkit. Equal pieces. Let's play. Partition the rectangle into two equal pieces.
Good job! Click Next to move on. How much does each part of this shape represent? Label every part. Good job! Click Next to move on. Partition the rectangle into four equal pieces. Good job! How much does each part of this shape represent? Label every part. Good job! Partition the rectangle into three equal pieces. Good job! How much does each part of this shape represent? Label every part. Good job! Function machine. Let's play. Try this one. Use your keyboard to type the output. Excellent. Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Right on! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Excellent! Try another input. Use your keyboard. Right on! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. <laughs> Woohoo! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. <laughs> Woohoo! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Way to go! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Eureka! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Eureka! Excellent work using the function machine. You're awesome! Super job! You found an adventure friend!
You can play with your adventure friend in my house anytime. Keep playing to uncover the clue you're looking for. Function machine. Let's play. Here we go. Use your keyboard to type the output. Woohoo! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Excellent. Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Good work! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Right on! Here's another chart. Use your keyboard to type the output. Good job! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Eureka! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Right on! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Good job! Try another input. Use your keyboard to type the output. Good job! Excellent work using the function machine. Math-tastic! You've outdone yourself again! Good job! We got the professor's toolkit. Pick another area to continue playing this story. Or click back if you want to explore a story with the pet friends, pirates, or pixies. Equal pieces. Let's play. Select every card that has been cut into equal fourths. Good job! Click Next to move on. Select every card that has been cut into equal thirds. Good job! Click Next to move on. Select every card that has been cut into equal thirds. Good job! 
Select every card that has been cut into equal halves. Good job! Select every card that has been cut into equal fourths. Good job! Select every card that has been cut into equal halves. Good job! How to number line. Let's play. Sometimes I use the special tool to help me with math. Look out, here it comes. This is an open number line. It starts as a blank line and you add important numbers as you need them. Let's make a jump on this number line. We have five goals. This is the start point. First, click on the start point. Yup, that is the start point. Our start point is 10. Now use the keyboard to type the number 10. Then press enter or click OK. Super! The start point is 10. Now let's add a forward jump. Click the button with the green jump. Now we're jumping forward. But we need to label the jump distance. Let's jump 5. Click on the jump and type the number 5. Then click OK. Woohoo! Jump 5! <laughs> Starting at 10. With the forward jump of 5, we land on 15. Click on the end point and type the number 15. Super dubulous! We landed on 15! The number line is really fine, but there's more to see, so come with me! Found a token! Jumps of 10. Let's play. All right, here's another challenge. Type the next number on the number line and click OK. Jumping 10 makes a pattern. Nice job making jumps on the number line. 
Way to go! Looky here! Some old rib bones of a dinosaur! We found everything! Now we can get the Triceratops out of the tar pit! We put everything together, but what was the eggshell used for? Everyone knows you need a construction helmet to operate a crane. Hurry up, Professor. We have to save the Triceratops. Thanks for helping us save the Triceratops. We couldn't have done it without you. See you around. Congratulations, you've won a certificate. You can see it and print it in my house.